Jay-Z is famous for so many things, and number one is being the husband to Beyonce. Just kidding. The hip-hop icon is known to be one of the most financially savvy players in the game, and his business acumen has seen him amass billions of dollars to splurge on whatever he wants. From luxury watches to expensive paintings, this is how Jay-Z spends his insane fortune. Jay-Z is one of those insanely wealthy people who develop a collector's habit to store their wealth, so he has some of the craziest, most expensive collections in the world, and we're going to start with this stunning watch collection. If there's anyone who doesn't joke about their timepieces, it's Jay-Z, and he's always ready to splash the cash on a good wristwatch, which is why he has arguably the most expensive wristwatch collection in the world. So here's some of the most expensive watches in his possession. The Jacob & Company Rainbow Turbion, $450,000. The Rainbow Turbion on is what you would call a serious timepiece. This magnificently crafted piece looks as if it could serve as a personification of class and stature. It comes encrusted with almost 300 cut diamonds and would have reportedly set Jay-Z back up to $450,000. Don't gasoline because this is one of the cheaper items on this list. Cheap to Jay-Z standards anyway. The Patek Philippe Grandmaster Chime 6300G, $2.2 million. Jay-Z broke the internet in 2016 when he was spotted wearing the Patek Philippe Grandmaster Master Chime 6300G to fellow rap icon Diddy's 50th birthday. Patek Philippe are already known to have super expensive watches, so with the chime coming with an ability to keep the exact date until the year 2100, Jay-Z wasted no time in splashing a whopping $2.2 million on getting himself one. The Richard Mill RM56 Turbion Blue Sapphire, $2.5 million. Jay-Z is someone who can afford whatever he wants, and in 2019, he commissioned famous jeweler Alex Todd to recreate Richard Richard Mill's limited edition sapphire clad RRM 56 Zeros to celebrate his album The Blueprint. The result? The Richard Mill RM 56 Turbion Blue Sapphire, the only piece made with blue sapphire, and it cost him a staggering $2.5 million, so it's no wonder he had it called The Blueprint. The Richard Mill RM 56 Turbion Green Sapphire, $3 million. No, you're not experiencing deja vu. After spending millions on his first RM 56 Turbion, Jay-Z he probably thought to himself, how could I go one better than the only blue sapphire RM56 Turbion in the world? And splash an astonishing $3 million to get the only green sapphire RM56 Turbion in the world, which made it one of Richard Mill's most expensive timepieces of all time. Imagine all the hampers they sent him at the end of every year. The Pontec Philippe Nautilus Tiffany 5711 1A, $3.22 million. Pontec Philippe and Tiffany and Company commemorated their partnership in 2021 by creating 170 units of the stunning Patek Philippe Nautilus Tiffany 5711 1A, and Jay-Z was the first celebrity to be spotted wearing one of these babies, which apparently cost approximately $3.22 million for a single unit. Approximately staggering. The Hublot Big Bang, $5 million. This next one absolutely lives up to its name. With 1,282 diamonds draped in 18 karat white gold from the dial to the case to the bracelet, the $5 million dollar Hublot Big Bang is simply a masterpiece. Technically, it's not one of the ways Jay-Z has spent his fortune since it was bought for him as a birthday gift from Beyonce. But being one of the most expensive timepieces ever, and with it staying in the family, this one felt too good to be left out of the list. The Pontec Philippe Reference 2499, $7.7 .7 million. Jay-Z is what I would like to call the Thanos of luxury watches, because he collects them like Infinity Stones. During Michael Rubin's 4th of July all-white party, Jay-Z was seen to be rocking a rare vintage yellow gold Patek Philippe reference 2499, a watch believed to cost in the region of $7.7 .7 million to complete his set of million-dollar wristwatches. So call the Avengers because Jay-Z has already stepped with his insane watch collection. How does Jay-Z even top such an insanely expensive collection, you might ask? Well, that's only a question if you haven't heard about a spectacular car garage, so to clear your doubts, let's get into it. Jay-Z loves himself a sweet-looking set of four wheels, and he has an entire fleet of luxury cars, so let's go over the craziest ones. The 2017 Rolls-Royce Phantom 8, $460,000. Jay-Z loves rolling in a Rolls-Royce, and you can't blame him because it's clear he loves luxury. So when the Rolls-Royce Phantom 8 came into town with a twin-turbocharged eight-speed automatic V12 engine, he wasted no time forking out $460,000. And if you were paying any attention to his watch collection, then you'd know this basically cost him 
nothing. The 2007 Maybach 62S, $470,000. He's not quite Rick Ross, but Jay-Z certainly has a thing for Maybox. If you've seen a lot of Jay-Z's music videos, then you might be able to understand the point I'm trying to make. He owns a Maybox 62S, which comes with a 6-liter twin-turbocharged V12 engine and paid close to $470,000 to get himself one. The 2012 Darts Prombron Armored SUV, $1.1 million. The Darts Prombron is the most expensive armored SUV in the world, and with its sturdy protective design, great engine, and classy interior, Jay-Z was willing to part with a mouthwatering $1.1 million to add one to his garage. Interestingly, though, he ordered one just because Beyonce was pregnant with her first child at the time, and he needed her to ride in something safe. Talk about being thoughtful in a way only a billionaire can. The Pagani Zonda F, $1.4 million. Jay-Z is also something of a car collector, and he owns some of the most expensive limited edition wheels in the world, such as this Pagani Zonda F, which comes with a V12 engine with 602 horsepower that can hit speeds of up to 214 miles per hour. There are only 25 of them ever made, and Jay-Z spent around $1.4 million to make sure the rest of us battle for the remaining 24. The Bugatti Veyron Grand Sport, $2 million. Not that he spent his own fortune on this one, but Beyonce also gifted Jay-Z the $2 million super fast quad turbocharged W16 engine Bugatti Veyron Grand Sport for his 41st birthday, and I found that interesting enough to mention. You might probably be wondering why Jay-Z's watch collection seems to be more expensive than his car collection so far, and that would be because I've saved the best for last. The Rolls-Royce Boat Tail, $28 million. Have you ever heard about the Rolls-Royce Boat Tail? If you haven't, it's the most expensive car in the world with an estimated price of close to $28 million, and there's only been three ever created. One of them is owned by none other than your favorite collector, Jay-Z, and his wife, Beyonce. The Boat Tail is one of Jay-Z's most prized possessions and defines everything luxury in a vehicle with its brilliant design, powerful engines, and fantastic interiors. Not many people can beat a $28 million car when it comes to splashing the cash, but Jay-Z has shown time and again that he's willing to put big money into anything as long as he sees value in them. This is why he spent millions procuring one of the craziest art collections you'll ever see. Jay-Z is known to be a very important player in the contemporary art world, and his collector's habit has definitely played a big role in this, because he can neither wear nor write his art collection, so what is the most unique artwork Jay-Z has collected? Mecca by Jean-Michel Basquiat, $4.5 million. Painted in 1982, this piece is one of the most famous artworks of modern times, and when Jay-Z bought it with Beyonce for $4.5 million in 2013, they saw it as a great investment, and indeed, it's turned out to be, as today the same painting is estimated to be worth over $20 million, literally outperforming the stock market. Jay-Z doesn't exactly mention the specific artworks he has in his possession, so it's hard to put them into a list. However, on a few occasions, he's name-dropped artists whose work he has purchased to add to his impressive art collection. Artworks from renowned artists such as Andy Warhol, Damien Hirst, and Shepard Ferry combined with others to give Jay-Z an artwork collection with a valuation north of $70 million. Besides owning expensive wristwatches, cars, and artworks, one thing Jay-Z loves to spend his fortune on is real estate, and his first purchase was a 1,021 square feet, seven-floor penthouse in Tribeca, which he spent close to $6.2 million to acquire and still owns to this day, although it's now been converted to a 1929 brick warehouse building. Jay-Z and Beyonce also copped a Mediterranean-style via on Indian Creek Island in Miami, Florida. The island is popular for being a celebrity base, and there are only 35 houses there, which is why the couple spent just over $9 million to purchase the via, which had a private dock and seven bedrooms, but they would eventually sell it for $9.3 million in 2010. Back in 2015, Jay-Z bought yet another home with Beyonce, this time in the Garden District of New Orleans. The condo is known as La Casa de Castillo, and it's yet another seven-bedroom mansion. It's unknown how much the couple splashed to acquire the house, but they were willing to sell it for around $4.5 million in 2021. Jay-Z doesn't shy away from the super expensive, and he showed this once again in 2017 when he spent a mind-blowing $88 million to cop a stunning Bel Air mansion. The Bel Air mansion is quite the marvel with its eight bedrooms, 11 bathrooms, personal media room, four outdoor pools, spa, and a 15-car garage. It also has bulletproof windows and pocketing glass walls, which is probably why Jay-Z prefers this to be his family home. Jay-Z and Beyonce do not leave it all on the ground when splashing the cash on each other, and when Father's Day 2012 came around, Beyonce got Jay an epic $40 million Bombardier Challenger 
850 luxury private jet, which features a master bedroom, a living room, two bathrooms, and an actual kitchen, which are all well-sized. Oh, to be a great dad to a wealthy woman's kids. Jay-Z doesn't only throw money into acquiring properties. He's not just a collector, he's also an investor, and he spends a huge chunk of his fortune on a lot of investments, and we can't go into them all here, so I'll leave you with a few. In 2016, Jay-Z became the owner of Tidal, a music streaming service. After buying the company, which owned the service for $56 million, and in 2021, he sold most of his stake to Twitter co-founder Jack Dorsey for $302 million. Jay-Z also splashed the cash, $2 million to be precise, to buy some stocks in ride-sharing app Uber back in 2013. The company is now worth over $95 billion, so you do the math. Jay-Z is rarely ever careless when spending his fortune, and most of the things he spends on either appreciate in value or maintain decent resale value, which is probably why he made the fortune in the first place. So there you have it, some of the things Jay-Z has spent his insane fortune on. Which one was your favorite? Please let us know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video and want to see more like it, then leave a like and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Tap the bell icon to turn on notifications and stay updated with all of our latest videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.